are going to Pennsylvania. Title says, a Pennsylvania man accused of beating his 85-year-old wife to death over vet bills for their cat. Yeah, I told you this first case was going to be weird. True Crime Daily, published November 30th, 2023. And this is in Lower Pottsgrove Township. Listen to this. An 84-year-old man stands accused of fatally beating his 85-year-old wife during an argument about money for their cat's veterinarian bills. According to Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele, on Tuesday, November 28th, shortly after 2.20 p.m., Barton Seltman called the Lower Pottsgrove Township Police Department and reported an unresponsive female. Seltman told dispatchers he thought his wife was dead and that someone had beaten her, WCAU-TV reports. Seltman allegedly told police that his kitchen had been ransacked and his wife sustained a head bleed. Officers subsequently responded to the home on North Came Road, where they found Seltman on the porch with blood on his hands, face, and clothing, Steele said. Inside the kitchen, police reportedly found Seltman's wife, Margaret Seltman, dead with apparent head injuries. According to WCAU, investigators recovered a kitchen knife under the victim's body, and they found a and they found pieces of glass from a candle jar. Barton Seltzman was transported to Pottstown Hospital to treat a hand injury. Lower Potts Grove Police and Montgomery County detectives concluded that Margaret and Barton Seltzman were allegedly arguing about money for veterinary care for their cat when the fight turned physical. Barton Seltzman reportedly told investigators that during the dispute, his wife grabbed a knife and threatened to hurt him. So he pushed the legs of a chair into her. According to Steele, investigators found evidence suggesting that the suspect struck the victim multiple times in the head while she was on the kitchen floor. Seltman allegedly punched his wife in the head repeatedly, even though he said he did not see a knife in her hand while she was on the ground. He reportedly took a candle holder and used it to hit her. Well, according to the affidavit obtained by WCAU, Seltzman told investigators his wife said, you're killing me, and then she went to sleep. A forensic pathologist determined that the victim died of blunt force injuries and ruled her death a homicide. Barton Seltzman was arraigned on charges of first-degree murder and third-degree murder. He remains held in the Montgomery County Correctional Facility without bail. Wow. He killed her with a candle holder. Like, he beat the shit out of her with a candle holder. Wow. And he didn't even stop when she told him that uh, he was killing her. It's crazy. Mind you, uh, this is a 84-year-old man that did this to an 85-year-old woman. That's insane. I mean, it's not defend anyone here in this... A situation I'm speaking solely from my own experience but uh, veterinary bills are really expensive I mean I'm not saying anything again it's not justifying what happened here at all uh, but just like on a separate note it just it we can be on the same page on this they're extremely expensive um, wow took my cat once and it was like two thousand dollars for something that ended up being nothing so um i don't think obviously that a discussion over that should have gotten to this point but uh they are pretty expensive uh, i did mention at the beginning of the stream that this was going to be like the first one we were going to start with and it was going to be a bit intense and uh yeah not only did he uh beat her with his his hands but uh, he hit her with a candle jar and he hit her with the candle holder which is what he used to repeatedly hit her and uh, yeah she did try to defend herself because she did grab a knife or that's at least that's what he said uh, but that was um, Consider it a lie because he, he didn't have the knife. Uh, the police was able to confirm that he, the uh, wife didn't have a knife in her hands. So there was no possible way that could have happened. He lied his way towards that. So um, obviously, he, you know, he's 
gonna die in jail because he's 84 years old uh, regardless of the time that they give him uh, which is completely acceptable I mean he killed his wife though and, and they gave him first degree and third degree murder so yeah he's not going anywhere no, but he's, just, he's gonna die that's it there's nothing else for him to do there uh, let me know what you guys think in chat uh, again I did tell you this was the first one we're gonna start with there is not a uh, there isn't a video here for this one if that one is just a um, just a news coverage of the same information that we already read so we'll move on to the next one but yeah cat veterinary bills huh and that's something <laughs>